Hi everyone, this is Abdul. Hope everyone is doing all right. So last week I was uh, on a week trip, work trip uh, on the French Riviera. And one of the most things that took time actually was choosing watches for my trip. So I thought I might do a video about choosing watching watches and the best watch collection for a trip. So I would be doing some hypothetical ones. Ones if you have only one watch and two watches, maybe three watches. And I will be doing ones that I would do if I'm traveling on different locations or for different activities. So first of all, I have three watch uh, pouches. One for three or four watches, one for seven and one for one. So let's start by the simplest one. Just uh, one weekend work trip so one weekend work trip most probably i will be taking w wearing one watch and taking one watch with me so this is the watch pouch i have and if i'm going to a work i'll be taking a diver with me <coughs> and most probably a dress watch so either this one as a dress watch or actually the zin one I'd, i would sometimes as a dress watch or that one or if it's uh really workshop or something that i need to dress up for i could wear my rolex as well so after that if i'm going on a three day but traveling normally i would be taking maybe on vacation so i'll be going with a larger pack this one i'll be taking this one traveling with this one and I'll be taking the Zin as a chronograph with me. So I have a diver, I have my sports watch. And most probably I will be taking either the Nomos or the Rolex with me, depending on the location and if I need to dress up or not. So let's say I'm going on a one, one week trip. I'll be taking a bigger pouch, so seven days, seven watches. So, Fortis is one of the watches I almost take everywhere. Uh, by the way, I'm wearing my G-Shock at home. I'll be taking the Rolex, so I need to dress up or something. I'll take the Nomos, this the Sin. And I usually take either my Bronze, or the Blumos. So that was actually how I, what I was traveling with, plus the Alpina watch, currently the watchmaker. So, so let's say other hypothetical ones. Let's say I'm traveling on a three day action filled adventure. So I need an adventure watch, so some kind of sturdy watch, maybe the Seiko Alpinist. I'll take also the bronze with me, so a diver. And I'll take a vintage dress watch, most probably something on a pelon. So if I even if I need to dress up at night, something like that. And that's something sturdy, something to swim with and something to hike with so let's say you have only one watch so let's start by having only one watch what could you do to improve your three-day trip experience let's say you have a diver so you have your diver you take your diver with you you buy yourself a a Bergon tool to change the straps and then you buy yourself a nice strap. So you have the metal, you have the strap, you can buy yourself a NATO, I have one as well. So even, so you could even have a canvas like this one, a NATO like that one and a leather like this one and be able to wear it for a week change if you'd like something to dress it up if you'd like to go to the beach and not scratch your metal bracelet which i totally 
recommend and if you want something casual so canvas waterproof let's say you have still one watch so something like the Seiko Alpinist not a diver but uh, a good water resistant 200 bar 20 20 meters uh, 200 meters sorry 20 bars screw down crown so what could you else do so you can do maybe a perlon strap of course you need the, your tool maybe some kind of crocodile leather to dress it up or even canvas as well So you have a lot of options, a lot of colors, rubber. So how many days you need to change your outfit, how many days you need to change your look. You can have one watch and change your, the look of the watch only by changing the strap. So that's a, a great tip for the people who have only one watch collection. If you feel like you need a change, buy a strap. So if you have a three watch collection, I would always recommend to have the three watches that you like, that you will always want wear. But we always have the need sometimes for some kind of dress watch. So you could have like a, a sports watch and a dress watch, a vintage chronograph would do both. So you would save on, instead of getting three, you would get two. But if you really like dress watches, then get a nice vintage dress watch, thin one that you can wear under the cuff, wear with suits. But be sure to get something that you would wear everywhere, like a, a sports watch as well. Sports watches you could even wear, if they're thin ones, you could wear them under the with a suit. Not of course in a, in a wedding setting, you could get away with it with a nice bracelet or with a leather strap but this one is still it's actually a waterproof strap and I really like the color with the dial as you can see or get yourself a Rolex day chest just works in every situation if you have the Jubilee bracelet or the I love the Jubilee bracelet so I always say get the Jubilee if you can you can wear it with a short you can wear it with a suit you can wear it with your swimsuit it does everything. The Tudor is not bad itself as well. Uh, I think my favorite watch that I could wear anywhere is this Fortis, to be honest. I travel with it a lot because of the bezel. I really love it. It has the day and the date. L totally legible in any condition. So when you light it up, you can see that the whole dial lights up. As you can see So, you could get something like this and put on it several. You have a leather strap on it, nice python leather strap. Go any situation, put a canvas strap on it for the, for the shorts and, uh, and maybe going out. And then you have the NATO for swimming. So even if you have one watch, you could supplement your watch with straps. And of course, the right tools. Don't cheap out on tools if you have a nice watch. That's my recommendation as well. So, if you have any question, any comment, please do leave below. Have a great day. And see you again next time. Like, subscribe.